Luke obviously a really good start, first few minutes. You, you're winning the clearances, you're getting marks inside 50, but they, they probably were well on top from that point to the end. Yeah, well, they're on top in different areas, there's no doubt about that. And, um, and probably the two sort of aspects of the game when you look at the champion data lines, you know, if you look at how they exited, you know, their rebound 50s and, and us being able to contain that or um, disallow a lot of uncontested marks was a problem for us in the game, whether it was their outnumber in those situations and then having the ball in their hands for too long and, uh, and that, that causes some issues. And then on the flip side at times, uh, you know, our template to now with our ball movement and what we've been doing up until today's game through the pre-season, a couple of games against Hawthorne, we look pretty good in transition on counter offence out of our defensive area, uh, but it's still too much today and, and there was a bit of a, a disconnect and a, and a void through the middle of the ground. Uh, we were spread too far. And, uh, and it made it difficult uh, because we didn't win the, um, the battle around the source and, um, and they put better pressure on us and what we put, put on them. So, uh, look, the, the most disappointing part other than, um, you know, probably them having a, a dominance in some of their flow at times uh, was that, you know, we'd, we obviously kicked some points at the start of that last quarter, we were well in it and then uh, for the margin to blow out by another five goals and that's really what we've spoken about post game is is the most frustrating part after you know working so hard to get to this point and feeling like we really prepared well for for round one um that was the most disconcerting part of the afternoon how do you what do you pinpoint that? i know it's very early straight after the game fitness is it heads dropping like or melbourne yeah, look, there's a number of things. It's uh, it's probably a collection of, of some of the things you mentioned, but uh, I wouldn't pinpoint one of them. You, you mentioned the uncontested marks earlier. Melbourne took 50 above the AFL average today. It was like something like 129. Mm. Um, obviously, it's still early in the season, but is that obviously a big sort of thing to focus on? Yeah, well, sometimes teams can do teams can do that, and they their territory game isn't what they, where they'd like it to be, but. Um, that theirs wasn't really like that. They weren't uh, chipping around with width plays. They were um, they were getting through us on skinny and short diagonals, um, which usually we're better at, at defending. So, uh, look, we know exactly uh, what went wrong there. As, as I said, the density through the middle of the ground and being able to tease out the ones um, that ultimately you can still defend, we just weren't anywhere near what we've been able to execute. So. Um, it's not an easy fix because it takes a lot of work, but uh, as, a, as a group and as a team, we, uh, we know we're more capable than that. Luke, can I ask you about the decision to make Caleb Daniel the sub as well as leaving Jack McRae out, even though he'd had those multiple games back? From the yeah, well, Jack's had two back. Um, one, he stepped through gingerly and then he was, he was pretty good uh, the other day. Um, so with, with Jack O, he, he had a sort of a stress-related... Um, through his FEMA um, concern over the pre-season. He, he worked really hard in his off-season. And then he had that hamstring that he went down with and he, he missed quite a bit of training and, and running and, and his capacity to cover the ground um, needs to be there. You know, and I, did, I felt like their midfield um, were able to do that better than us today. So we're just waiting until Jack's totally ready uh, to perform at his absolute best with, uh, with the ground cover. And, and so he, he's not far away. And yeah, CD, um, yeah, in the roles and responsibilities, he, he plays all of them pretty well. And uh, with the pre-season, some of the guys have had, uh, they weren't at their best today. Some of the boys have been you know, at the top of their game, really, in recent times. And some of them um, you know, will be frustrated by you know, their performance today. Uh, he, he's just found himself out of the team. So it's just part of it. And um, you know, ultimately, the team uh, and our ambition is we pick it with a view to to challenge the, the whole competition and and I felt today going into the game that we might really challenge Melbourne with our run and getting across the ground and it was a little bit of a surprise that, that we weren't able to do that so uh, we process that during the week. Can we expect to see Jack McRae playing next? I know he said not far away but 
it's probably too early to selection all those sorts of things. Too early. We'll work through that during the week. What about Danny? Does he get a full game? Well? Uh, we'll see. Yeah. Riley, Sanders is the one that's out. Any injury there? Is it no, he's fine. I mean, at that point in time, he was one of probably a handful that, uh, that could have come off for the experience and stability in the team. Riley's going really well. He's going to be a tremendous player for the club. Uh, he's still learning, but um, yeah, he, he was the one. And ultimately, as the game um, you know transitions on and the minutes expire, there's no benefit of hindsight. So uh, we'll look after him, make sure he, he heads into next week with a positive mindset. Luke, who was one of the, the uh, bright spots today? Did a pretty good job on Ben Brown. What yeah. about his performance? Yeah, Buku, Buku was okay. I mean, um, the challenge for those keys is they're out there a long time and, um, and it probably told a little bit in the last quarter with a couple of those um, you know, skill errors offensively. And, uh, and again, you know, I, I reckon Melbourne kicked six to eight goals from just blatant um, turnovers, which, again, we've, we've felt like we're in a good place with. So, you know, we've got to tidy that up. It's just some, something that's... You can't give the, any op- opposition that opportunity, and we, we gave them too many easy ones. Is that why Sanders was subbed out? Like he'd only just had his fourth turnover, not long before that. Yeah, it was just that was a coincidence. Definitely not, definitely not the reason. Okay. Luke, can I ask you about the score review system? It really seems to have come into sharp focus today. That is, from my eyes, looked almost all of them just unnecessary. And five in the first half, four in the first quarter. Um, how did you see it? Were you frustrated by it? And what can be done about it? Yeah, look, I'm trying not to. I, I'd rather not comment too much. I think when, when they go to school review, um, you know, I, I'm a bit apathetic towards it. Uh, I try and tune out and, uh, and focus on probably what's going to happen after the review's finished more than anything. So, uh, yeah, you notice it, but if it's topical, then, uh, yeah, I'm, as I said, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty neutral on it. Were you at all, obviously, as a sensational player, but were you at all surprised at the level? Oh, well, I think all the stuff that I've spoken about, you know, with our um, inability to, to stop chains and, and stop some of their, uh, their, their slower build up, um, you know, Clayton's a very good stoppage player as well, but it, it fueled a, a game uh, for him as well. And I'm not surprised, he's a, he's, he's a great player. But, um, but ultimately, you know, I think when a, when a mix from the opposition, has some impetus and some momentum in the game. There's always someone from that mix that's going to um, possibly get off the chain. And when you're chasing score, uh, to you, you make that decision around negating and, and striking a balance offensively. And uh, and we we couldn't get the balance totally right today. Sam Darcy, uh, where does he sort of fit in right now? Is he you seeing him as a you know, Keith Ward, Ruck, who's competing with Rory Lock. Is he, is he down back? Is he, where does he exactly fit as far as getting... Yeah, he's side? building up his match time, Sam. He, he played a lot of minutes again yesterday, so we're preparing him um, you know, to most likely be a, a Ruck forward over time. And um, as I said, you know, if we pick too many of the, the keys and Rucks, uh, it means our, our run and what the competition is challenging you with is compromised, so uh, we'll work through that during the week. Lockie Brown, pretty good first up performance for you guys? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Lockie, uh, lo- the stuff that Lockie's doing for us is really encouraging. And um, and so if there's a, a shining light probably offensively, and, and he had his moments defensively where he was pretty strong, uh, he it's an encouraging performance from Lockie. Any injury concerns? I know um, Harvey got tested out at one point, but went back on. Yeah, he seems to be fine, Anna. So that's always a plus when you come out of a game, and you, you haven't got too much um, turmoil or uh, or anything to worry about there. We, I think most of the boys have come through okay. What do you make of Harvey? Harvey on debut today. Sorry, mate. What do you make of What do you make of Harvey's game on debut? Got a nice goal in the first quarter. Yeah, I think you know he had his moments. Gags, Harvey. He he played on the, on the wing for most of the day and and. Wasn't a lot of possession from um, from the wingers in the game from either side, and uh, but we switched him in that, that inside uh, brigade in the last quarter. I felt he I felt he did some really good things in that last quarter. So you know now it's about building up experience and exposure, and uh, he, he went okay.
Thanks, Thanks.